I am coming at you at this horrible angle. Um, let me try to, there you go. Because I went, wanted to find a pretty private secluded place here on campus in which I could vlog. And I remembered about where I am now. Um, unfortunately, I thought there was like a picnic table up here because we have tailgated up here with my organization, but there aren't. And I forgot that all the tables that we used were the ones that we brought in, but oh well, that's not the point of this. I just wanted to talk about a project that I've been working on for the past few months, and that is Living Out by Lisa Loomer. I submitted exactly a year ago to direct this play my final semester here, which is my final semester now, yay, as my senior capstone. And so I submitted exactly a year ago and I was the only one that submitted anything so I got to do it, so yay me. I started officially working on it this year in January when that's when I found out that I was going to be directing this. And that's when I started analyzing the play and it's marked up and it's pretty beat up. But yeah, so I really wanted to do it. So I started working on it in January. My analysis wasn't completely finished until around June uh, because I would turn it in and my professor would be like, uh, no, there's, it's not quite there yet. And so I got the okay in June. I, ca I casted in May and this is an eight person cast. I have six wonderful female characters and two wonderful male characters. And my cast is just amazing, but I'll talk about them right now. So I cast it in May and I kind of started working with my stage manager a little bit, just some preliminary things. And then we officially, oh, I thought there was a bug on me. We officially started rehearsing August 5th and we open on Wednesday. Today is September 20th. We opened on September 25th and this is going to be an ACTF production. This place is a lot more trafficated than I thought it was going to be. There's, I've, I've had to stop several times to kind of let people pass through or whatever, but I'll keep going as best as I can. So we started rehearsing August 5th, and this is the third play that I have directed. Two were for my directing class, and then this one is officially for the public for the main stage. It is one of the season of shows at my university. So that's kind of nerve wracking. It's kind of mm, pressure or whatever, but I'm doing my best. And as I mentioned, this is going to be the ACTF entry for our school. For those of you that do not know, ACTF stands for, I guess the official name is KCACTF, which stands for Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival. And for those of you that did theater in high school, it's kind of like the one act comp competition. At least that's what we do here in Texas. I don't know if you do it in the whole country, but yeah, so it's kind of like the one act competition here in Texas, except it is at a college level and they are full length plays. And you know, you, you still compete, uh, your, your show is eligible to compete at the competition. If you are not selected to compete at the competition, you are eligible to compete in other categories. So my designers are all able to compete in their categories. So they, my lighting designer will be competing in the lighting category, my sound designer in the sound category, and so on and so forth. And then the way it works as well is that some of my actors 
will be eligible to compete for acting awards, basically. For, they, they will be eligible to compete as actors. And the way that works is we will be having a judge coming to one of the performances. Uh, we don't know which day they're coming yet, but they will be coming to one of our performances. They will be watching the performances and from there they will let us know whether or not we will be moving on to the actual ACTF competition and you know if we are then we take the show to wherever it is that they're hosting it this year and we perform there. If we are not selected then it's just the designers and the actors that will get to complete and it's not the whole cast. The way it works is that the judges will cho will each choose an actor and then I will choose an actor. So let's say we only have one judge, they will choose one actor and then I will choose another actor. And those two actors are the ones who will compete for the Irene Ryan acting competition as well as their partners. And their partners can be anyone. Generally, uh, my school tends to choose actors who were in the production as well. But it, in case, you know, they can't do it, then we go ahead and open it up to anyone else. So that's kind of the basics, the gist of it. And uh, we, the last time a show for my school competed was back in the early 2000s. So I'm hoping that we will be eligible to compete this year with this show because I think, of course I'm probably just biased because I am the director, but I think it's turning out to be a really good show and my actors have just been working really, really hard. Everyone really, the designers and everyone, and I think everything just looks so good. My set is awesome, the sound that I have heard so far is awesome. The costumes and the lights are the design aspects that I have seen the least of as of now. I've seen, like, um, lights is a little bit difficult, you know, you can't really see the lights until dress rehearsal. I mean, the lighting designer can tell you, well, at this moment I'm imagining this kind of lighting, and this moment I'm imagining this kind of lighting, but, you know, you can't actually see it until the show is pretty much ready to open so I won't see the lights officially until our first dress rehearsal which is on Monday well I mean I guess I'll start seeing them tomorrow because tomorrow is dry tech so never mind we'll see we I'll see the lights tomorrow and um, the costumes I've seen four of the characters and it's just like part of the costume, like uh, some of their costumes, it's not all of them. So that's the least probably that I'm familiar with right now. My props look really good. And just in general, I'm so proud of my actors and all the hard work that they're putting in. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a great director. I'm trying really, really hard to tell the story as truthfully as possible and you know I'm trying to get my actors you know to have fun and stay motivated and encouraged to you know keep doing the show and I'm trying really hard to do that but you know I don't I don't know if I'm doing a good job just like you know all they can do is focus on what they're doing and you know I let them know whether they need to fix some things here or there you know I can't really judge myself and how I'm doing but I hope I'm doing a good job with them and I hope that my biggest hope is that they are having fun and that once we op once the show closes that they will look back on the show with fond memories and not be like, ugh, I'm so glad that finally ended because I hated working on it. Like, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully, you know, everyone will have good fond 
Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Memories of the show because I know that I will. And my stage managers are both really, really good stage managers. I'm happy with the work that they're putting in to make the show better. 